What's up you guys, it's Susan White here with Clever News and Jojo Siwa has clapped back after being called out by fans for allegedly using blackface in her latest music video. Alright, so in case you missed it, people started questioning Jojo after the music video for her latest single Nonstop dropped on June 19, 2020, which in case you forgot is Juneteenth. Juneteenth is a holiday celebrated every year on June 19th, commemorating the abolition of slavery in the United States in 1865. So some fans were upset right off the bat that Jojo chose to upload her video that day instead of delaying it out of respect. The video has a Greatest Showman Circus vibe with many of the dancers dressed up as animals and other circus acts. And fans took issue with the fact that the video featured an 11-year-old white dancer in what appeared to be blackface makeup portraying a contortionist monkey. You can see the dancer briefly in these two clips, but she isn't on screen very long. So here are a couple of screenshots of the dancer's makeup for Jojo's music video. And here's a picture of Jojo with the dancer who posted, then deleted this photo with Jojo from set. It's not hard to see why a lot of people were triggered by that makeup. People were particularly mad and concerned as just a few days before the video dropped, Jojo took to her social media pages to show her support for the Black Lives Matter movement, writing quote, Black Lives Matter. Today they do, yesterday they did, and forever they will. As they should, everyone is equal and everyone is human. No matter your color, size, sexuality, if you're a good person, which is all that matters, I will stand by your side forever. So many of JoJo's fans took to Twitter to share their anger and concern about the dancer in JoJo's video, writing, quote, Why is there a little girl in blackface in JoJo Siwa's music video? Another wrote, Not gonna lie, I was starting to stand JoJo Siwa, but never mind because she's deleting comments about BLM and uploaded a music video with blackface on Juneteenth. And this person added, um, Jojo Siwa has a girl doing blackface in her new music video for nonstop. Hashtag Jojo Siwa is over party. Others tried to defend Jojo writing things like, I'm confused. She isn't blackface. She's dressed as a monkey, which many people pointed out is equally offensive. And Jojo finally took to Instagram to seemingly respond to the backlash without specifically mentioning the girl in her music video though, but saying that she was blocking the haters on social media. Jojo shared this photo writing quote, This is for all the people I blocked today. Peace out, Girl Scout. This is my Instagram and anyone who is going to be mean is not going to be allowed on here. People are bossing me around, telling me who to follow, what to post, what to like, what to say, what to do, everything. It's not about what you do on social media, it's about what you do in real life. Jojo continued on saying, quote, I said it best when I was 12. Hide behind the screen because they're just so mean. But we don't play it like that. We don't even fight back. And now this is for everyone who is being kind right now. Thank you. Also, side note, people went to my dog's Instagram. My dog to hate on me. Iconic. As we mentioned, Jojo didn't specify if she was talking about the music video hate in particular, but many fans were not here for this dismissive post, if it was in fact Jojo's response to the blackface allegations. One person shared Jojo's post and wrote, quote, F her, she stands behind putting an 11-year-old girl in basically blackface makeup, and it's even worse that Lily was monkey. F Jojo Siwa. Another person chimed in saying, quote, So, Jojo, care to explain why you still haven't reached out to apologize about putting an 11-year-old into blackface makeup and then, instead of apologizing, blocked everyone who commented, including your supporters? And this person simply wrote, She needs to address the blackface. Yet others still defended Jojo, writing things like, A majority of Jojo's followers likely don't understand blackface, and maybe she hasn't found a way to address it yet. I can't speak for her, I don't tolerate racism in any way. But I think Jojo is not racist at all. We're all entitled to our own interpretations. Jojo hasn't spoken out again about the backlash or the music video since her last post, and the music video is still up on her YouTube channel. We will keep you guys posted if she speaks out on this again and addresses the music video specifically. But for now, if you want more on Jojo Siwa, click right over here for another clever video, and then be sure to let me know all your thoughts on this and Jojo's response right here in the comment section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.